uplifted lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. Before that last time, but this time I really do mean it. I miss you guys, 
And I'm so glad you could take out a small amount of your time to spend another Sunday with not with your boy Dre. I tell you guys, it has been one of those weeks where I could not wait for the weekend to come. And here we are, Sunday. Now, I tell you what, again, I, I, I like to do this because I, I love helping people. I want to be a blessing, not a curse. I want to help people and give them guidance and direction. Now, of course, we're going to start off with the outer order. Because you know what? Well, because I say so. You know, the outer order is definitely one of the pillars, one of the staples of the Sunday when that's with Dragon. And I believe that it's my duty and my obligation to point out things and situations to people that are out of order so I can help them do what? Get in order. Now, of course, as you know, out of order can be uh, you. It could be a family member. It could be a uh, co-worker. It could be uh, someone you see at your local grocery store. Or it could be somebody you see at the local bank or a stranger in the street or somebody you happen to pass. As you're walking through the park on a beautiful, hot, sunny day, I believe, again, it's my duty and it's my obligation, but not just mine, but all of our duty, all of our obligation to point out things and situations that are out of order to help people do what? Get in order. All right? Here we go. Out of order. Again, I'm going to be a blessing, not a curse. Take note. If you don't recognize any of these in anybody you know, then I feel sorry for you. Because all of them are you. Get your life in order. Who go out of order. <clears throat> now, if this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Look here. Now I know this 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 heat, this weather is warm, and and people are wearing you know, um, uh, let's just say not a lot of clothes. Okay. Um, not saying that you're indecent, but you're definitely not as decent as you could be. But understand this, a certain type of clothes ain't for everybody. For instance, if this is you, you out of order. If you were in a mint drift shirt and your belly button is so big that you have to hold it up to keep from kicking it when you walk, you out of order. And come on, you know your belly button too big. You know your stomach too big. You got a big old belly and a big old belly button. If you got to literally take your hands and hold it up to keep from kicking it, when you walk, come on now, get that thing in order, okay? If you're going to hold it up and walk, make sure you walk in at a brisk pace, a power walk, so you can kind of, you know, burn some weight, cut some calories, and get rid of that big old belly button in that big old belly. Let's get that thing in order. Get your weight in order and, and leave the midriffs alone, okay? Now, here we go. If this is you, you show enough out of order. Look here now. You understand this natural look? You know, everybody proud, uh, you know, black people, you know, the motherland, Wakanda forever, you know. Black Panther, Wakanda forever. But now, come on now. I ain't saying that the, the, the Afro, the natural, I'm not saying that, you know, that there's anything wrong with it. But you may, you may want to make sure you, you're taking care of it and, and, and you're at least combing it, you know, or picking it out to make it look presentable and, and, and beautiful the way it was intended to look. But if you ain't doing that. This is you because you're out of order. Look here. If your hair is so nappy that you actually need a prescription comb for it, you're out of order. Come on now. Get that thing in order. I don't make no doubt about that. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Look here now. If you join the gym but never go, and you tell all your other fat friends the reason why you don't go, you don't feel guilty because, and I quote, God know my heart. You out of order. Wait a minute. He know your heart, but he also know your blood pressure and your heart rate. If you don't use that gym membership and, and, and get rid of some of that, 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 that baby fat, how you going to be over 40 and, and you got baby fat? That ain't baby fat. That's your fat. I didn't blame it on when you was a baby. You should have grown out of it. You should have grown out of that fat a long time ago. But you, not only did you not grow out the fat, but you got the fat growing with you. Stop it. Use that gym membership. You're paying for it. Get that thing in order. Uh, again, 
I want to be a blessing, not a curse. If this is you, you show up out of order. Look here. If you think standing in front of the mirror and eating a whole pizza by yourself, if, Lord Jesus, if you think that is watching your weight, you out of order. You're not watching. Well, technically, you're right. You are watching your weight. Increase. You don't put that dog on pizza down and get you a salad. If you're going to stand why you, why, in front of the mirror, why don't you stand and, 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 and do some, uh, what, what do they call jumping jack? Get that thing in order. Come on. Again, I want to help you. Uh, if this is you, you showing us out of order. I told you I'm going to be a blessing. Okay, now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you so out of shape that you get tired from running your mouth, you sure look out of order. Look here now. I, I don't know how how I don't know how big you got to be and how the shape you got to be to get tired from just talking. That don't make no doubt no sense. So you can't do no kind of running. You know what? It, anything that has to do with running, you can't participate because it just wears you out. It just saps all your energy. You you can't run your mouth. Matter of fact, you can't take no shower because you can't or wash your hands because you can't stand running water. Come on now. Get that thing in order. Do better and be better. Again, I'm going to be a blessing and a curse. I'm helping you out tonight. If this is you, you out of order. Look here, if you got a child so dumb, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> they're the only student in the sixth grade with a driver's license. You know what? I'm going to leave that alone because that ain't the child's fault. That's your fault. If this is you, you show sure enough out of order. Look here. If your church been raising money for the building fund for over 10 years and y'all still having service in the pastor's basement, let me tell you something. If y'all been raising money for over 10 years for a doggone building, y'all still worshiping in the uh, pastor's basement, Y'all ought to be stuck on stupid and paused on pathetic. That man's stealing from y'all. He ain't spending that money. He's paying his rent, his mortgage, or whatever it is, paying his bills on that money. Ain't going to be no building. Get that thing in order and get yourself into a real church where you can be fed and led. Again, I want to be a blessing and not a curse. If this is you, you show enough out of order. If you smoke cigarettes, but you ain't never got a lighter, you know what? That right there just that, that ticks me off. I don't even smoke, but it really ticks me off to see somebody with a cigarette in their mouth and begging for somebody to get to, to, to give them a light. How can you afford a cigarette and you can't afford to light it? Huh? Again, blessing not a curse. If this is you, you showing us how to order. If you got bootleg cable, but you always complaining about the customer service, you know what? It's bootleg cable. Uh, how good do you expect the customer service to be? Uh, technically, you ain't even supposed to have cable. If this is you, you showing us how to order. Oh my God! Oh, wow. If you go to random people's funeral just to talk about the deceased makeup, you know what? That don't make no doubt no sense. You don't even you don't even know the person, but you walk into the casket, pointing out stuff, flaws in the man's face or the or the woman's face, talking about their makeup, talking about how bad they look, or they or they, uh, they could have put this on them, or they could have lightened up that. Or they could have made the lips fuller. It don't matter. The person did. As long as they leave, look like they're sleeping, that's all that matters. Now, if, they, if, they, if you walk up to, to a casket and look in, in the body and you see the facial expression, they look concerned, then get the hell out of there because they probably not dead or somebody killed them. That's, it. that's at the funeral. Again, I want to be a blessing, not a curse. I'm helping you all tonight. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, again. I'm helping you tonight, and I'm going on, and I'm going to keep on with the out of order because we're going to get some things in order tonight. Uh, look at this one right here. Again, I'm going to be a blessing, not a curse. If this is you, you're showing up out of order. 
I know everybody like, you know, families, you know, bless the black people and the white people, all people. You get together for uh, on Sunday because that's usually, for the most part, the time of the day when uh, most people are off uh, from work and they're not working, so they're relaxing, okay? And then the, the families like to get together for a nice meal, okay? But now, just because it's a family dinner, don't mean that you can do a say or uh, act any kind of way. Okay? There are some things that happen at the family dinner on Sunday that's out of order. And here we go. I'm going to give you some examples. Uh, if this happens at your family dinner on Sunday, it's out of order. Look here. If you make chicken, you know, black people, you know, we make chicken. But the chicken is so dry that you got to soak it in baby oil before you can cut it. Your Sunday dinner is out of order. If this has anything to do with your Sunday dinner, it's out of order. Look here. If if the chicken you made was so undercooked that you had to cover it with band-aid just to keep it from bleeding, your Sunday dinner was out of order. If this is your Sunday dinner, had anything to do with your Sunday dinner, it's out of order. Look here. If you made some chicken and dressing and the dressing was so dry, you had to put it in your mouth and suck on it for about three or four minutes before you could chew it, the Sunday dinner is out of order. Look here. If you stuck your chicken with the feathers because you didn't want to waste nothing, don't go eat your Sunday dinner is out of order. Who the hell does that? If this had anything to do with your Sunday dinner, it's out of order. Look here. If you got that one uncle sitting off in the corner, smelling like a gallon of fresh baby urine, but you say, oh, he all right. Uh, That's why I put swim trunks on him. Wait a minute. You you just set him in the corner with swim trunks. So he's the man's still wet, and he's still stank. Now, you got your uncle over there. He, he about to pass out. Matter of fact, he probably didn't pass out, and he ain't sleep. He didn't faint it because he got all that pee on him, and, and, and it smelled like ammonia, and he didn't pass out from the fumes. And you don't get that man up and, and, and throw him in the bathtub and wash him off or spray him off with a garden hose. Doggone it. Sunday dinner. Now, if this has anything to do with your Sunday dinner, you ought to order. Look here. If your traditional Sunday dinner consists of a chicken and a family game of strip uno, with your Aunt Beverly talking about, I'm going to win this Sunday. Uh, I'm actually wearing underwear. Okay. If this has anything to do with your Sunday dinner, it's out of order. Look here. If your family go around the table giving thanks, and when it's your turn, you say, well, dear God, I'm, I show them thankful that uh, Uncle Joe has stopped smoking cigarettes and started smoking crap because I don't want him to get the cancer. First of all, why are you going to put that man business into the streets like that? Okay, everybody know he's a crackhead, but everybody don't want to be reminded of it, especially over dinner. Neither does he. You know what? Get that thing in order. It don't make no doggone sense. I told you I'm helping you. I'm going to be a blessing and not a curse. Now, look here. I don't know how many of y'all out there are uh, uh, divorced or single or separated or whatever it is. But I tell you what, man, you know, I'm engaged now, but I tell you what, I, I, I've been in that dating scene. But I've been in that dating scene for a while, and, and, and before I, I, I found the one, I was in that dating scene, and, and I tell you what, it was terrible out there. There were some things that was happening that was out of order, and I didn't agree with it. Some of it I, I participated in, but I didn't agree with it. And now, if you are doing something, or uh, you are in the dating scene, and you are participating in some things that are out of order, you wrong. And get that thing in order. 
Again, it could be you, could be a family member, could be a coworker, could be a stranger in the street, somebody you see at the grocery store, at your local bank, or somebody you see as you're walking through the park on a beautiful, bright, hot, hot sunny day. But let's get this thing in order. Now look here. If you're in the dating scene, the only reason you invite uh, that so-called special someone over for a meal to have a candlelight dinner is because your lights are turned on. You out of order. Yes, sir. If you call yourself being sweet by giving her a stuffed bear that your ex gave you, you out of order. Okay. Sometimes you can be just too forward. I mean, it's just the first date. But if you're going to give her sexy underwear that you bought from the Goodwill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look here. If you tell her, uh, we just met each other, and I want you to know that uh, I'm not looking for sex. And you're trying to get to know her first. But at the same time, you got a garbage bag full of condoms in your closet. Come on. Really? What about this one? If you swear you don't want to pressure her for sex on the first date, but you keep repeating it every five minutes. Yeah, okay. What about this one? Uh, you're talking about how you want somebody who is not after your body. But at the same time, you want her to pour baby oil all over you while you're doing setup. Come on, really? What about this one? <laughs> you surprise her with a diamond bracelet. That's sweet. But when you give her the diamond bracelet, you also give her the address where she needs to send the payments to. What the heck? You know what? That don't make no doubt go sense. What about this one right here? Now look here. <laughs> you live with your parents. And you keep telling her you want her to meet your parents. But you're not sure when they're going to be at home because their bedroom door is always closed. What the heck? No. <laughs> if this is you, you showing up out of order in this dating scene. If you invite her to the movie, With you and your ex. What the? You said between the both of them with a big tub of popcorn and a super sized drink with three straws stuck down in the, you know. Okay. If this is you, again, that dating thing is, uh, let's get it in order. Look here. If you get her a birthday gift that you've shoplifted, <sighs> again, I, I, I want to be a blessing and not a curse. It don't make no doggone sense. Again, I want to get these things that are out of order in the water, okay? But now some of y'all, again, again, we're going to get this out of order going because we're going to get you in order, okay? Now some of y'all, you know, uh, you're doing things that are out of order just for the simple fact that you just don't know no better. You and I won't say you're stupid or you're dumb or you or, 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 or you're slow. You just don't know no better because ain't nobody taught you no better. You've got lower expectations for your life than 99.9 percent of other people. But see, raise your expectations. Believe in yourself more. 
Get yourself in order. Get your thinking of yourself in order. Here we go. <laughs> if this is you, you have an order. If you if you trying to finance a car with a cassette player in it, you know what? I, and I just, I want you to think about this and just think about what I said. Ain't nothing wrong with financing a car. I'm financing my car. I'm making my payments, okay? But here's the thing. If you trying to finance a car with a cassette player, more than likely that's an old. We know it's a used car. But what kind of car? I don't know. Just think about it. Get your thing in. Get that thing in order, okay? This is you. you you showing up out of order. Look here. Now, keep a clean house. Keep a clean house. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I'm telling you, that's the Bible. But let me tell you what. If you got a house that's so dirty and so nasty, okay, the roaches leave because the mice then took over. You know what? You're in order. Get that thing in order and get the roaches back in there. Come on now. Tell them you're going to do better. And then do better. If this is you. You show enough out of order. Now look here. If you the one gave your dog rabies, what the? First of all, how you? What you doing biting the dog? Huh? Okay, I'm I'm, I'm helping people tonight. Look here. If this is you, you show enough out of order. Women, if you're wearing a wig and you got a ringworm in the wig, hold on. How you gonna have a, a? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wash your hair, women, and wash your wig. Matter of fact, throw the wig away. Start over from scratch. Get you a new wig. And, and matter of fact, shave all your hair off. It's, just start your whole. Just start the whole follicle process over. Okay. And get that thing in order. Again, I'm being a blessing and, and, and not a curse. Look here now. I understand these tattoos. Everybody, you know, everybody with this tattoo life. They got shows all on TV about tattoos. They got nothing, no problem with no tattoos. They got nothing against tattoos. But choose your tattoos wisely, okay? Especially women. Look here. Uh, women, if you got a tattoo of a name of every man you have been with, and then you meet somebody, but you can't get their name tattooed on you because there ain't no room. You have no order. How many people you been with? Huh? What are you, a census taker? Again, I'm going to be a blessing and not a curse because I want to get some things that's out of order in order. I'm helping y'all tonight and shut up and you're welcome. Now, look here. This right here. This right here. It's showing up out of order. And, I, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm closing out with another tattoo. Look here again, this tattoo life, it, 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 I mean, I can understand the self-expression, and then some people call it body art, but now come on now. Come on now. You, and, and they say tattoos say a lot about a person. You can tell them the type of person uh, somebody is by their tattoo. But I'm going to tell you, this sends the wrong kind of message if you got this tattoo on. If you got the tattoo of a baby on your chest, over your heart, and the baby holding his nose, you know what? Let's just tell you, you're a stank, stank, stank nasty person. You know what? I tell you, these tattoos is getting out of. Matter of fact, you know what I've seen? I've seen some idiot out there a couple of weeks ago with tattoos on his eyelids of eyeballs. So when he closes his eyes, he's still looking at you. You know, that was about the stupidest thing. I, you, he almost got sucker punched and kicked in the throat. How stupid is that? So when you close your eyes, you want people still be thinking that, that you're looking at them. How stupid and disrespectful is that? You're going too you're going too far with these tattoos. You're doing too much. 
And that's been out of the order. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get upset. But that sometimes you just have to let people know that you're not pleased with what they're doing. Well, I thank you all for joining me for another Sunday with Nuts with your boy, Trey. And I know I feel good about it because I know I've helped you, and you are so well. Now, like I always like to do, I'm going to go ahead and close it out with a prayer. So I ask you, please, that all heads are bowed, all eyes are closed. Unless, of course, you blind, and it really don't matter, does it? I mean, seriously. Really? For real? Wow. Oh, Lord. We thank you for another Sunday with us we drink. We thank you for another opportunity to come together with for fun, faith, and fellowship. We thank you for making a way out of no way. Open the doors that no man can shut. We thank you for loving us more than we can ever love ourselves. But most of all, we thank you for being God and God alone. We thank you that you're a doctor when we're sick. You will you're a lawyer when we need somebody in the courtroom. And I'm going to need you to come Wednesday. Because I sure didn't get that restitution. And I didn't broke these people's DCR. Oh, sorry. But most of all, we just thank you because you do just what we ask. And you give us all the desires of our heart. The Lord bless us and keep us until we can come again together. We give you praise, honor, and glory. Amen and amen. Now, you all have a great week. I will see you next Sunday. More nuts. It'll be more trade because I'm getting ready to eat me a little something and I'm going to pick up a little weight. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. And if you try, I hurt you. I hurt you bad because my love hurts. I love hard and it's painful. You all take care. And the next time will be the best time. I'll see you next Sunday with more nuts and more Dre. You guys enjoy your week. Good night. Of a day that the 
mainstream Can all get a glimpse to the king I gave it up for Give it all I get for It's more than a metaphor 